Tapirs are large, wide-ranging mammals that live mostly in tropical forests. And I love them. I think they're the most amazing animals on the face of Earth. This is a baby tapir, the cutest animal offspring in the animal kingdom. <laughs> they're born like this, full of stripes and spots, um, just like a little watermelon. It's really, really sad that they lose this pattern when they grow. There are four species of tapirs in the world. The lowland tapir throughout South America, the Central American tapir in Central America, the mountain tapir in the mountains uh, of Colombia, Ecuador and Peru, and the Malayan tapir in Southeast Asia. I work with the lowland tapir. When I started my project in 1996, uh, that was just a small research project that quickly took over my life and became a long-term nationwide conservation initiative. The lowland tapir is the largest terrestrial mammal of South America. Adults can weigh up to 300 kilos. That's about half the size of a horse. They're stronger and bigger than jaguars and pumas. Tapirs are mostly found in tropical forests, such as the Amazon. They are closely associated with water, which they use to drink, to thermoregulate when it gets really hot, and sometimes they even copulate in the water. Tapirs are nocturnal, they're solitary, and they have this amazing flexible uh, snout that they use to grab their food. And speaking of food, they're herbivores. About 50% of their diet consists of fruit. But here's the problem. Tapirs are threatened with extinction. And the main threats they face are deforestation, hunting, mostly for their meat and their skin, and roadkill, which is a huge problem in some parts of Brazil. In addition, tapirs reproduce very, very slowly. They produce a single watermelon baby after a very long gestation period of 13, 14 months. Well, this means that if a tapir population is impacted by, let's say, roadkill and suffers a severe decline in number of individuals, it's quite unlikely that population will ever recover. To make it worse, Tapers have to deal with the huge PR problem here in Brazil. <laughs> Brazilians know about that. First, nobody knows, most people don't know what a taper is. Uh, most people mix them up with giant anteaters. That is not a taper. <laughs> and second, um, here, the people who do know what a taper is, they associate these animals with lack of intelligence. Here in Brazil, if you want to call someone stupid, you call that person a taper. It's the equivalent of jackass in English. And this is something we absolutely have to change. The belief that tapers lack intelligence, that they are um, stupid animals, it's, it's, it makes Brazilians not to have pride for tapers. We're not proud for this animal. And this is really something we have to change. Um, the lack of, uh, something else that is very important is that, that I have to say is that the tapers, their, the, their importance is far bigger than the species itself. They're way much more important, far much more important uh, than you might expect. Tapers are widely recognized as umbrella species. Uh, umbrella species is a species that requires large areas, and they share that habitat with many other animals, such as peccaries and deer and jaguars and puma, birds, insects. If you protect tapers, you will most certainly help protect all those other animals. In addition, tapers are known as gardeners of the forest. When they eat fruit, they swallow the seeds, which they disperse throughout their habitat through their feces. And that they play a major, major role in shaping and maintaining the diversity and the structure of their habitat. It is a fact that the extinction of tapirs would seriously impact biodiversity as a whole. Scientific research has always been a major part of what I do, the main focus of my work, but it's also very, very important to promote awareness about the taper conservation cause. And here's where I need your help. Now you know what a taper is, you know where they live, you know the threats they face, you know how important they are, so please get out there and help me spread the word. Please help me speak on behalf of tapers. They're way too important to go extinct. Thank you so much.
Tapirs are large, wide-ranging mammals that live mostly in tropical forests. And I love them. I think they're the most amazing animals on the face of Earth. This is a baby tapir, the cutest animal offspring in the animal kingdom. <laughs> they're born like this, full of stripes and spots, um, just like a little watermelon. It's really, really sad that they lose this pattern when they grow. There are four species of tapirs in the world. The lowland tapir throughout South America, the Central American tapir in Central America, the mountain tapir in the mountains uh, of Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, and the Malayan tapir in Southeast Asia. I work with the lowland tapir. When I started my project in 1996, um, that was just a small research project that quickly took over my life and became a long-term nationwide conservation initiative. Look, the lowland tapir is the largest terrestrial mammal of South America. Adults can weigh up to 300 kilos. That's about half the size of a horse. They're stronger and bigger than jaguars and pumas. Tapirs are mostly found in tropical forests, such as the Amazon, they are closely associated with water, which they use to drink, to thermoregulate when it gets really hot, and sometimes they even copulate in the water. Tapirs are nocturnal, they're solitary, and they have this amazing flexible uh, snout that they use to grab their food. And speaking of food, they're herbivores. About 